Okay, I decided to take a glance at the book, and I was doing it completely wrong. I was trying to take out the uh, what you call it for the uh, the carry or the uh, holders for the bearings. So first thing I need to do is take this snap ring off of this gear here, and you need a pair of snap ring pliers. Get you a good set. These are Craftsman. Try not to let that fly like that just did. There we go. Got that gear off. And then, according to the book, you should just be able to smack this. Yeah, it's pretty loose. It's not out though. I'm gonna hit this one. There we go. So you hit those, and you may have to. Before we do that, we're gonna have to take these two bolts off down here. And those are, I believe, 10 millimeter. Get our 10 millimeter socket. At least they look like 10 millimeter. Yeah, they are. Maybe wrong. Well, you may not have to take this off, but it looks like you do. We gotta take this nut off right here. I believe so. So, let's see what size that is. I think it's a 14 layoff. So it must be a 12. Yeah, it's a 12. Book, it's a good book, but it doesn't necessarily get all the details that, like this was kind of, this part of it was kind of shady. And it's a climber, so it's a good book. All right, got that out. Hope to God I remember how that goes together. Yeah, I said it. All right, so we've got those pieces up. We should, we've already knocked it loose, be able to pull this complete assembly up. Maybe, maybe not. Should not be anything else holding it in. And again, I'm doing this on the fly, so you guys know a better way of doing it. Don't be afraid to post it because I'm not gonna take insult to it. This is my first four stroke. So, okay, there's that piece there. More taps. That one to tap. Take these braces out. There we go. One section of the transmission. gears. I think that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, or the other way. And the reason why I'm taking this all apart is I need to inspect all these bearings. I think I mentioned that, but who knows. So, sorry that wasn't very intuitive. So there's the uh, case, 
without the bearing, without the uh, gears in it, the tranny gears. Here are the tranny gears. And they all appear to be in good shape. I know some of these bikes have a fifth gear issue where it breaks, but no gears are broken, so we're good there. And basically, you know, there's a, that lever holds it back, so when you kick in the gear, it's got two little, two little ears on here that make the next gear go and, and so on. So, just like right there. So I'm going to leave those together. I'm going to take those apart. I think that would be a huge mistake. But I've just got some bearing issues that I need to work out. I've discovered a few bad bearings in the bike. And I found yet another one. This one here. Actually, I already knew that one was bad. I think. No, I didn't. That's a new one I just discovered. Because the training was together. So the main seal feels good. This one feels good. I'm going to replace the crank bearings. They don't really feel like they need it, but I'm already in there. That one feels okay. But this needle bearing over here, which is the opposing bearing here for the shifter, feels bad. No, that's wrong. No, this one feels okay. That's the opposing. But this one here feels bad, somewhat bad. And so does that one. This one feels pretty... Nope, that, that one's toast. And the needle bearing, it doesn't feel too bad, but I may go ahead and replace it. So, and that's the main reason why I wanted to get this booger apart. So anyway, again, you didn't probably learn much on this, but that is taking the complete tranny out. You can see there's nothing left in the case, but some bearings, a little pump, and the, uh, um, that's about it. Kickstarter's still in there. I'm not going to really take that out. Um, it seems fine. No reason to, to fiddle with that spring, although I may. But there you have it. Um, again, please feel free to rate, comment, ask questions, um, and obviously subscribe. But uh, thanks again as always.